What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be doing a PC port report for Dead Island 2, which is finally out here. It's available on PC as well as the consoles. Unfortunately on the PC, it does appear to be exclusive to the Epic Store for digital downloads, and I also believe you can get it on like Amazon as well. I, I did read that somewhere. Um, I'm not sure if that's for physical only, but no Steam options. So if you want to play this game right now, it's through Epic, at least for the time being so we'll be talking about the poor quality, how it's running, how it's running smooth, all that kind of stuff. The game does compile shaders, thankfully, and it does it actually fairly quickly. And it also seems to do a check every time that you boot the game. So that is very nice to see right there. And the second time that every time that you boot the game, it does do it again. But it goes quick, just as quick or if not quicker every single time you boot the game. Although if you updated your drivers or something, it might take you know, a little bit longer. But like I said, the very first time I did, it only took about a minute at the very most. So it's not as long as something like The Last of Us. And uh, speaking of drivers, I was on the latest one, which is optimized for this game for NVIDIA, which is 531.68, because I am using an RTX 4090 here for testing out Dead Island 2 at 4K max settings, which is DirectX 12. And the big question, obviously, with most of these ports is, uh, you know, we'll get to graphics options stuff is, you know, how's the stuttering, all that stuff. Uh, there is some definitely hitching with this. There is some hitching with Dead Island 2. So it's not perfect, but it's also far from the worst. Um, and it honestly seems to get better the more you play. Um, it actually most recently reminded me of The Ascent, uh, which came out sometime in 2022. I very much enjoyed it. It was like an isometric looter shooter type of game. And uh, a lot of fun, honestly. And that game had some traversal stutters and things as well in it. But it almost seemed like it just it just really had to cache them. And as soon as it did each like animation or showed each explosion sort of like one time, like it was then it was like fine and it was smooth sailing from there. And that seems to be the experience I'm getting right now with Dead Island 2. Although your experience may vary if you're on different hardware, different drivers from AMD and what have you, as I'm using here, the 4090 and all of that. So the hitching and stuttering is present a little bit, but it's 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 far from anything that would make me not want to play the game. And I've actually been enjoying Dead Island 2 so far way more than I expected that I would. I really thought I was just going to download this, play it a little bit, and then probably refund it, because I didn't get a game key from anyone. I bought this my own money, and I really wasn't sure if I was going to play it or not. But so far, I've actually enjoyed it so much more. Like, I didn't play and complete either of the Dying Light games. I did play and complete the original Dead Island years ago on the Xbox 360, but that's like, that's a lifetime ago, honestly. Maybe even two lifetimes ago. I'm not really sure for me. Um, but so far, I've had a lot of fun. I think this uh, the characters are interesting. The combat's f pretty simplistic and everything, and it's, it's very early on in the game, as I've only played about the first hour and a half or so and gotten out into the open world in the city. But uh, yeah, so far, it's been a lot of fun, and the performance has been pretty solid. Like I mentioned, we had some hitching, but overall, it's pretty much getting over 100 FPS at all times, 4K max settings. So overall, I've enjoyed my time playing it, and I don't think I'd have any issues not recommending uh, the PC port for Dead Island 2. Now, you may have noticed, I, th I didn't really do this intentionally, but I guess we're sort of doing things a little bit different here today as we started off sort of doing a full analysis and sort of talking about, you know, the overall experience of playing Dead Island 2, me enjoying it. And usually I do go into the graphics options first, but we'll uh, go ahead and switch over to that now. Or as you can see here, I'm playing 4K. So let me know in the comments below. Do you like me doing the graphics options maybe further toward the end of the video, like at the beginning? Maybe we could switch it around and see what people think. 4K max settings. We have, thankfully, we have full screen windowed mode and borderless in here, but I don't want to switch it because sometimes it does wonky things with the recordings. VSync, you can do on or off. I have it off in the driver, so whatever's shown here doesn't really matter for that option, particularly. Uncapped frame rate is an option, so you could do that. We've also got an FOV slider. Very nice to see. Goes up to 100, all the way down to 70. I do wish it was a little bit broader, and I do wish they had something over here to give us an, imp an indication as to what the FOV adjustments would be. Uh, it could do it maybe when you're in-game, but I have not checked. Let's find out. All right, so as you can see, I'm now in-game because I wanted to see if adjusting the FOV slider while in-game would actually give us uh, any visual indicator to show us any difference. Uh, and it turns out it actually, it sort of does. It's not great. I mean, you can see, you know, what's going on there in the background. And as you adjust it, you can see it there. So for FOV, it seems like, you know, it's going to work good enough to give you a good enough an idea of where the camera is going to be, where 
you set the FOV, and I might actually even set it wider here. Um, but for other options, I don't think it's going to give us too much of an indicator. I do have motion blur disabled. It does have HDR support if you want to utilize that, but it seems like you have to have it turned on within Windows for it to work. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into the advanced options here where you can see I'm on the ultra preset. We do have anti-aliasing options. Here. We have temporal AA at high, which is what I'm using. We've also got FXAA, F temporal AA low, and temporal AA high. Again, it's what I'm using. And as I am switching through it, I can see some things like adjusting in the background, like certain things. Um, but you can barely tell the detail. It would be nice if this was a clearer image so that maybe you can really see what these graphics options were do. Maybe an idea for the developers, just get rid of this like bokeh depth of field look so that players can see the environment and then you can, we can tell exactly what these options are changing. That would be a really nice feature and seemingly a pretty easy fix if they could just adjust the background here in the pause menu. But we've also got uh, view distance, post-processing, shadows, textures, effects, foliage detail, SSAO, so that's our ambient occlusion, indirect shadows, screen space reflections, shading quality, and we do also have FSR support. And by default, the Fidelity FX variable shading was on, but I went ahead and turned that off as I did not find that I needed any sort of upscaling or assistance with getting a uh, boost in frame rate on my personal system, uh, my personal system. But that could vary for you based on your hardware and uh, you know all of the, all of those sort of things right there. So let's go back into the game. Also worth noting is that this game has Alexa game control, which sounds like it maybe could be interesting. I, I might try it out at some point if it works with a regular PC microphone because it says you can kind of like call zombies over to you. Like if you walk into a room and maybe there's a zombie that's not facing you, you could be like, hey, you. And like it'll turn around and come right towards you or something like that. So that might be one thing to do. Let me go ahead and put up my frame rate counter here as well uh, as I'm talking and playing this all in real time here as I talk and do the actual video. So we've got the graphics options there. And as I said there at the start, so far I've had a pretty good experience. Um... And, and, and I'm playing on my 9900K still as I'm waiting for a new hard drive to come in. Uh, but so I'm, I'm pretty much, I would say I'm CPU bottlenecked here a little bit with the 9900K as my 4090 would likely be able to go a little bit further as it's hitting like 70, 80% usage only. So it could probably go a little bit more than that. So definitely worth considering, but I'm still getting over 100 frames per second. So I'd have no problem playing the game like this on my 900K. It really wouldn't bother me, which is, as I've tried to tell people, is really why I'm not in a massive rush to go ahead and switch over to my 7950X rig as this does me just fine. Although I will be doing it soon as I just bought a 20 terabyte hard drive. So that's going to be happening pretty soon, honestly. So not too much further away. And it looks like we got a fuel jerry can. I did see something earlier that needed fuel, but I'm not exactly too sure what it was. But I was like thinking, I was like, oh man, if I had fuel, I probably could do something with that. Looks like I'm supposed to be going down here. Oh, we got a Zed. We got Zed dead, baby. Zed's dead. Let's go ahead and kill that bitch. Oh, yeah, really gory. Really gory, lots of blood. Definitely not for the squeamish. Uh, and seems to be pretty good, like, dismemberment effects at times. Like, yeah, there you go. I just took her. Oh, my God, look at that. I literally just filleted her leg. The only thing I wish that this had is, like, maybe a little bit more um, uh, control over the direction of where you're swinging your, your, your given weapon at the time, whatever you happen to be using. Um, I, I just a little bit more control. If it was maybe something closer to like chivalry, uh, that would be, you know, be, be pretty good if they had that for the melee. Since there is such a heavy emphasis on melee in the game, seems to be the core component of the game as just in the original Dead Island. Not too sure how much they're going to do as far as guns are concerned. Looks like I got to find a key, uh, key code to get in here. So there you go, guys. That's the port report for Dead Island 2. It's out now. Uh, as I said, it's sadly only only on the Epic Store. No ray tracing, but the reflections actually are pretty good. You can see the reflections there in that blood pool there, but it's just, you know, your standard SSR type stuff and like baked in lighting. No, no real-time ray tracing of it or anything here to speak of in Dead Island 2. But it doesn't stop it from looking like a darker game. Actually, you know what? I do not need a key code to get in if I just break the goddamn ceiling. Although I have my audio off right now as to not mess with my video, but uh it's possible that could have set off an alarm because earlier I did hit something and it set off a fucking alarm in the house. But it doesn't seem to be the case. This person right here is just chowing down on some, some dick buffet, just eating some surfer dick. What's up, babe? What's going on? There you go. Take a break off that surfer dick and come suck on my bat. So, yep, take my Banoi 2006 baseball bat. I think that might even be a, I think that might be a reference to the... This was like a bat you get early on in the game. I think it might have been for like purchasing it day one or something. 
And I'm pretty sure that references the island in the very first Dead Island, whereas this one takes place in in uh, Los Angeles, or as they call it, Hell A. Ha, ha. Get it? Hell A? Mm-hmm. Yes. Punny indeed. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the port report for Dead Island 2 if you're going to be picking it up. And I'll catch you next time for another video. Peace.